Tennessee's wild side that makes you wanna go find a natural way of living waiting just outside your door. Every day's a new adventure and it's right before your eyes. Spend a little time on Tennessee's wild side. We told you many times there's something for everybody on the wild side of Tennessee. And we have a story now that helps prove our point. You're about to meet some very special people you might not see out on the water or in the woods, but they've got an important connection with the outdoors just the same. Wild Side Guide Steve Hall shows us how it's all in a day's work. There you go, Jenny. Oh. It's another day on the job for Jenny Newberry and her coworkers, but none of them are complaining despite some complex challenges in their lives. Jenny's 33 years old. She's uh, been mentally retarded and, and handicapped all of her life. She was paralyzed completely on the left side when she was born. But there's something about her job of building birdhouses that makes Jenny giggle. <laughs> her dad says she loves getting up to go to work every day. To her, it would mean the same thing as somebody that has a job building a house. That's her job. She loves doing it. She likes to talk about it and tell people she knows that she's working on birdhouses and she's help building on and uh, she just lights up when she talks about it. They do the filling, the sanding, the painting, the staining. They put on the pegs and the flags, put the chains on the roof. Just about everything but cutting the wood. For safety issues, the program's coordinator, Sam Vizcarra, handles the power saw. She works for Progressive Directions in Clarksville. It's one of the nonprofit companies that contracts with the state's division of mental retardation services to make products from the heart of Tennessee. And Sam gets paid in more than just money. You see the smile, the face, the eyes, and your heart just kind of, <laughs> it's, it's really cool. Jenny's dad thinks so too. I says, what are y'all doing with them birdhouses? And she says, I don't know. She says, I do know they're making a lot of birds happy. We are in a competitive marketplace. Our individuals happen to be disabled, but still I know, I knew, and I know now that they can compete in the commercial marketplace by building good quality products. And we've proven that. I'm so happy I can cry. <laughs> Here's another group of workers who seem to love their jobs. This is pace setters in Crossville. The team here at the table is folding and packaging note cards that feature images of Tennessee wildlife. I draw this rabbit. And I do the turkey. That's right. The people here at Pace Setters also created the artwork. I've done a bear, a squirrel, um, a turtle, and it was fun making them. I really like to help wildlife. I love wildlife. I like the shapes and the colors, how beautiful it is. Like the birdhouse builders in Clarksville, the people here are paid an hourly wage, but the artists also get to sell their work and even travel to art shows. I went to Atlanta to Folk Fest and I sold 400 and something dollars with the artwork. Some of the artists now have quite a selection of paintings for exhibition and sale. In uh, Nashville, at the John F. Kennedy Center, I had a, done a painting of a tree, and uh, they put it on a commemorative plate, and it sits in there. Makes me feel good. Makes me feel good about myself, and it makes me feel good that people enjoy my artwork, and I like to be recognized. Everybody wants to be recognized and I don't care who you are, and I don't care how disabled you are, and we're giving them that opportunity. The work of the pace setter artists is not only recognized, but for sale in the gift shops of several state parks, including this one at Cumberland Mountain. And if you're looking to buy some of these, well, you'll find them somewhere near the birdhouses. The product is not so unusual. The story behind the product is unusual, and it's a story that I hope more and more people hear about because it's just a wonderful program. Their mother, their father, 
their friends or they themselves can come to a state park and say, well, I made that you know, or I drew that. And when it's your child, the appreciation goes much deeper than the obvious. It's her life, I made. It really is, she really loves it. If building birdhouses makes Jenny happy, it makes her daddy happy. That's the way it's been since she was born. If she hurt, I hurt. If she cried, I cried. And it's still almost that way. It's not as bad as it was when she was little, but uh, it's still, if she has joy, I have joy. Uh -oh. <laughs> I'm Steve Hall on Tennessee's Wild Side. Now I know what you're thinking. Where can I buy a birdhouse and some of these cute little wildlife note cards? The answer is our website at tnwildside.com. We'll show you which parks are selling them and how you can buy them online. What a great gift idea. Oh, I, I can't wait to get some more.